Welcome everybody to our morning sharing of Vilapa Kusumanjali. 16th verse for the, I don't know which down. We are still on 16th verse. So, we will today continue. <coughs> Yesterday, we were talking why Manjaris love Krishna because Krishna is Radhikas. And we remember the part when it says that when Krishna makes any trouble, we'll take him by the hand and throw him out of the kunja. Yesterday, we were in Gurudev's uh, room, and yesterday when Andaka was talking and reading Gurudev's book, something we mentioned about Krishna to Gurudev, and Gurudev said, Krishna is the boss, like womanizer. Debochi. Debochi, yeah. Womanizer. No good. <laughs> How will he act? Quickly, because we are talking something about Krishna. Or really what, but his katas said, no, Krishna is debochi. You know, womanizer. You know, womanizer. You know, womanizer. Because we're talking about love, yeah. Radhika no, is representation of love. And love is one-pointed. But Krishna is womanizer. He goes to others. So, and Krishna is in Vrindavan, like a watcher, not main person in Vrindavan. <coughs> but Radhika is main. Yes. She is the boss. <coughs> like, I have big cup, like that cup for my coffee. Like, almost one liter cup for coffee, which I make in the morning, and slowly, through the day. And one day, I'm talking with Guru there. And I'm drinking from big cups. And on the cup says, I am the boss. Your boss. I just, oh, Radhika is the boss. Radhika boss. But this was actually. Uh, my Ishtadev's cup before, no, the, after I took, because it was too big. <laughs> Not practical part, this part, but this cup, when we first saw in, in the store, we said, oh, this is for them. <laughs> but Radhika, you know, this is their cup. And <laughs> Shiva Prada joined us. Okay. So, why do Kinkaris love Krishna? Because he is the lover of Radharani. Once, when Krishna takes his supper to Nandishwa, Akinkari hands him, like cooling him down. So we can see here, Akinkari is doing service, service to Krishna, not just to Radhika. But there is a story behind it, and we will see what's going on. And also, 
and also because yesterday we read in the same commentary what kinkari completely equal to Radha means if kinkari is doing this service to Krishna means Radha doing this mm. what does mean this mean for Krishna Krishna feeling in such a way what is Radha doing because their hands it's extension of Shirman Radhika's hands mm. it's very how to say meaningful for Krishna yeah but we also know that there is a difference but the difference is that <coughs> Kinkari doesn't want to enjoy with Krishna in the same way, like Radhika. Yeah. She wants to help their relationship, so he, she is like an extension of Radhika to connect them. For example, as a hand. Hand is uh, the extension of my heart, my desires. In one hand, it's not different for me, but from other hand, this hand could not digest halawa. Yeah. Could not do this. It can only put inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all. Uh, that's funny, because one time I was listening long time in Iskon that somebody was saying or, or reading that in spiritual world we can even with hands taste food. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, we don't know. Because uh, maybe it can be in some other parts of the spiritual world, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. where we want to go in Goloka Vrindavan, there is everything simple. Simple. I mean, quote unquote simple, <laughs> nothing okay. simple. It looks like village. <laughs> yeah, it looks like village, but simple life. Simple, yeah, life, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Without being seen by others, Shyama keeps his hand on that Kinkari's foot as a means of asking her. Will I meet my dearest one or not? So first thing we see Krishna touching feet of Manjari here. Why? Why is this present? Sometimes we can think, oh, how can Krishna touch and, and Manjari allows that Krishna touches her feet because there is no Aishwarya there. There is no Aishwarya. There is no thinking about these things. There is only love between them all. Not Aishwarya. So Krishna asking, will I meet my dearest one or not? <coughs> that maid servant then places one toe on Shyama's hand, indicating that a meeting will be possible. That is the most excellent service. You see? Inkari and Manjaris are sometimes helping Krishna. Of course. But for who? Why? Again, because of Radha. Because Krishna also wants to make Radha happy. So they can help her. Yeah? <coughs> they can give her flowers. They give him flowers. Give him whatever he needs. And when he is doing his service to Radha, loving service, because he is doing, he wants to love Radha, to make Radha happy. So he is, he needs also help. Especially we know him, he becomes mad easily. So he needs help. He would be confused what to do next, where to take, uh, where are flowers. You know. 
Ja. Цветы потерять. Под Инициалков манджари. И иногда мы можем видеть, что манджари, например, в этом случае... В каком-то случае манджари... Was massaging his feet. Его стопы. Yes, I think. No, fans him. He, she was fanning him, not massaging feet. Sorry. <coughs> fanning him. <coughs> But this was all the pretense. That Krishna can, that they can communicate. То есть то, что они могли, то есть это то, что они могли. And they had secret language. Like she is fanning him, and Krishna, Krishna goes with her his hand slowly to her foot and probably do that. There is a sign. Yeah, like tapping. I see your face. You know. Oh, will Radhika meet me? Will I see her today or not? I should ask Radhika. And then Lanjari just put like small toe, I think. Yeah, one toe. Just she steps little on his hand, confirming. Yes. Касается его пальцы на руке. Yes. Подтверждает, да. Да, да, да. This is the most excellent service, says Anastasia Maharaj. Лучшее служение говорит Анастасия Маджимаш. No, anyway, Shwarya. No, I Shwarya. He is. Krishna's. He is used to name Shyam. Shyam is need Shyamatra Dika so much. He couldn't survive without him. What is why? He is taking shelter at lotus feet of Manjari. No, by touching. And Shilnarana Goswami Maharaj explained what does mean Prabhu Pada. He is Prabhu. All ours taking shelter at his lotus feet. But he is taking shelter at lotus feet of Manjari. What does mean? This is the meaning what does mean Prabhu Pada. Uh, Manjari, that person at uh, those lotus feet with Almighty Prabhu taking shelter. Prabhu Pada. Pada, he will to sweet. And this Prabhu taking shelter of his Pada, with lotus sweet. And not just this, she, she is by her feet touching his hand. And I in way, in way could hate that possible. Yeah, of course. Again, just the, I, there is no Aishwarya there. So it's in Vaikuntas, this couldn't happen. Because in Vaikuntha, there is clear hierarchy. Krishna is Bhagavan, and all others are just servants. But this is more distinct there. In, in Goloka Vindavan, it's a little different. Yes, manjaris are, are called maid servants. But there is one problem that the word uh, servant is not the correct word to describe this. Because servant in English language means something else. So we need to be just understandable that this is not the same, but there is no one word that would describe this being made servant, manjari. Because manjari is in the same time a friend who is doing everything that she does out of love. Not as a servant, how would this word uh, describe it? Someone who is maybe paid for his job, or somebody who is a slave. Yeah. We are not slaves. Maybe. Slaves of love. But not, this is maybe not a good word. We are lovers. We are like. Puppeteered by love, like 
in this world, when we love someone so much, we are ready to do anything. Not because we must. Somebody forcing us. No. Because we want to. That is the difference. Because we love that person. So it is the same with Radhika. We love her. That is why we want to do it. It is our nature to act from love. <coughs> this is Varadasya. Mm. In commentary, in commentary, it's written about Manjari touching by her feet one of five fingers on Krishna's hand. Yeah. Why? Because each finger indicated one the place of meeting, yoga pit. In this way, she, she's not yes. just answering yes, but she answered but, uh, <coughs> in this place. She's a messenger. Yes. Yes. So we will come to this point, but this is true. That language is not just yes, no. That language has maybe even the time and place in the message. So, we will continue, just this study. Uh, it is the same repetition. Repetition. This is Varadasya, Varadasya. the most excellent service. Nothing is done for personal happiness. Everything is done for the pleasure of the Yuga or Radha Krishna together. So, I know for myself, this, when somebody says nothing is done for personal happiness, well, this is half true. Because Radhika's happiness is my happiness. As a manjari. Hmm? So, in a way it is also for our happiness, but our happiness is her happiness. Meaning, when we see her happy, we are happy. But we are not doing it because of us, of course. But because we want to make her happy. But we get happy also. We get this happiness. Because this is the nature of love. Like, if you would make everything for our happiness, and for, for example, our partner is unhappy all the time, Will we be happy? Maybe some people will be. But this is not normal. That means there is no love. But if there is love, we cannot be happy. And when you make your lover happy, how do you feel? Happy. Yeah, because this is normal. This is nature of love. Although the manjaris are in the category of sakis, they are servants because of their complete dedication to devotional service. The sakis may have a superior position in the pastime, but the fortune of service is greater for the manjaris. They know Sri Radhika's innermost purpose, and therefore they can perform their service 
without hesitation, like no one else in the world. This is a very important point. Mm. <coughs> this uh, uh, point what because King Kari knows her most deepest desire is called Manobishta, means the heart desire. They doing what they are doing without hesitation. <coughs> We have two kinds of direction. We can be orient orientated. Uh, it's, uh, no, it's uh, understandable. Yes. We can be orientated by the external uh, leaders le leading uh, some, for example, some other king can tell or guru can tell or some devotee can tell what we must do now, what needed to do, or it's coming from the heart. Then coming from the heart, no hesitation. Then coming from outside can be hesitation. Because I'm not understanding myself. It's not clear for me. But then it's clear for me. I exactly know what my mistress wants from me. Right now, when no hesitation, immediately action coming. And this action most, how to say, um, precious, how to say it? The most precious. Mm, means no, like exact, most exact, exactly. Sorry, repeat again the sentence. Then, then Kinkari knows exa uh, exactly knows what Shimat Radhika wants in this moment. Her action, her service will be accurate. very how to say accurate. Accurate. Yeah, accurate. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, accurate. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And we, again, the, the verse was telling us that the manjaris don't want this type of relationship as sakis because uh, manjari, manjari wants that close, Please. intimate relationship with Radhika. Yeah, maybe maybe even better word is relationship than service. Because relationship have that all this all those elements. Uh, all those elements of love and exchange between Radhika and the Manja. <coughs> so, one day, Radha and Krishna are intimately enjoying themselves in a kunja, and the Manjari relishes the sweetness of these pastimes through a passage between the vines. So, she is peeking through some hole between the vines of the kunja. <coughs> it appears, oh sorry, <coughs> it appears to the maid servants that there is some obstacle in Radha Krishna's pastimes. So she sees something is not right. Some Maybe they are not relaxed enough or you know, Manjari sees that there is some obstacle. But they don't notice anything because of ecstasy. Oh. They, the maid servant then notices that Radha and Krishna got stuck, stuck to each other. <coughs> With their hair. So their hair got entangled. So she very carefully 
<coughs> enters the kunja. So as not to disturb them. And unravels the hairs so that the amorous pastimes can continue again. Who else can perform such a clever, intimate service? Even Lalita and Sakis don't know. This is Varadasya, the most excellent service, which is attained by chanting the name of Radha. Radha Jai Jai Radha Nam, Vrindavana Yaradham, Krishna Sukha Vilasera Nidhi. From Narapanda Stakur in Prema Bhakti Chantika. Uh, this means glory, glory to Sri Radha's name that dwells in Vrindavana and that is the jewel of Sri Krishna's blissful pastimes. <coughs> this is interesting. That it is always said we should chant the name of our Ishtadev. Why here is chanted Radha Mohan. Because Radha Mohan, our Guru Devs, Ishtadev. Everybody has their own Ishtadev. They can accept the name the same as Guru Dev, or they can have the name which they feel connected with. Usually, through time, their Ishtadev will reveal his name. Or their both name. It can be Radha Shyam, Radha Mada, or whatever of thousands and countless actually names. But the point is to connect with your Ishtadev, you are uh, focused on the name of your Ishtadev. And our Ishtadev is actually Radha. Krishna is there, yes. But Radha, Radha. Radha. Um, I, I want to make notice. Mm -hmm. uh, the word Ishtadev means, Ishta means that who is found, ultimately found. It's not means heart, yes, in heart. But after so many crying, the devotee found his Ishtadeva in his heart. Hmm. Who is his Ishtadeva? Who is the core of his heart? Beloved. So, yesterday, we were talking with Govinda Nandini about meaning of different words in different languages. So, when we say Ishta, means in our language, Croatian and Serbian, meaning anything. And Nishta means nothing. <laughs> so when somebody said Ishta Nishta, come on decide. <laughs> One or the other. That's just a little digression. <laughs> but yes, you know, Radhika's name. We are allowed. Those who were in ISKON or some other organization which didn't allow 
to use Radhika's name mm. freely, they are now free to use Radhika's name how much they want. Radhika's, you can use Radhika's name. And try. Try just to relax and just ah, okay. focus on Radhika. And you will see how quickly Radhika responds. Of course, we know. When we say Ra, what happens? Somebody knows? When we say Ra, Krishna, his ears go, listening. And when we say Ra, Krishna comes. Where is Radha? Где Радха? Yes, Krishna loves Radha so much. But not more than Radhika him. And then Krishna her. And Radhika him. <laughs> so they are competing. Who loves who more? So Krishna is attracted. By the name of Radha. Also. Yeah. But Radha, the name. We know that the name is non-different than Radhika herself. So meditating on the name brings Radhika closer, or I would say more opens us to see her. But Radha's name, when we meditate, we should try or do, don't try, do. Uh, do it in a way that you are only in that. No other things to disturb you. Like chanting, for example, when it's a lecture, Lecture, I'm not this word, like sharing, when it's sharing, then chanting in the same time, it's not, I would say, productive because we cannot be focused fully on two things. So, Gurudev also said one day that chanting during the class it, it doesn't give any result. Okay. So better to be focused and listen and be present in the sharing and when it's when you do japa or bhajan then you're just in that. In that way we are practicing also one pointedness. So, when we chant this Radha's name, just try to enter into your peace. First, we enter in peace, then chant Radha, 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 Radha. Calling her to reveal herself in your heart. See her hugging you in your heart. And she will come. She is just waiting that you say, I am yours. I am yours. And you are mine. Come here. Let me hug you. That's the point. Love <coughs> should be our way. Bhakti means love in action. 
And to get to Bhakti, we need to do Bhakti. There is not that we need to reach Bhakti. Because we are naturally loving. Nature of the Jiva is love. And we can easily love if we allow ourselves. We are learning to love, of course, because we are conditioned through many years, especially in, in one life we are conditioned from our childhood. But the in intricate, that natural love is always inside us. That's the point. And we know how to love. <coughs> so we just call Radhika. <coughs> so again I say what Narakam Das Thakur says. says glory, glory to Sri Radha's name that dwells in Vrindavana and that is the jewel of Sri Krishna's blissful pastimes. O Radhe, for attaining your most excellent service, I am taking shelter of your lotus feet that even Shyama holds to his chest for soothing his last afflicted heart. When you love someone so much, hugging their feet gives so much love and pleasure. Not from Aishwarya, not from, oh, he, they are God, so I need to focus on their feet. No, because they will love them from feet to the top of their hairs. And this love is because we are so much loved. We are so much in that love. From them love and from us love. It can be overwhelming. And from that love we come to their feet and just like that hug, put our head on their feet. Not this, not Aishwarya, but like this. From love, from love we love them. We are not worshipping them as gods. We love them and that's the difference. Loving and worshipping as gods. So when Radhika comes into your heart by calling her name, just go down and hug her feet and put your head on her feet. And naturally, tears will come to wash those feet with love, liquid love from your eyes. Try, to do it. Radhika will come. <coughs> so now it's 7.23 here in Vrindavana. Uh, I think Japanese devotees, they have today some kirtana and Gurudev asked yesterday uh, that the link is shared so I don't know if the link is shared in the uh, uh, because Gurudev wanted to follow this 7.30 yeah that is Bhakti Himagi's program yes 100 people something yeah so we will, we will stop here.